four popular tests for fake crystals that don't actually work. The fire test, the cold touch test, the water test, and the glass scratch test. In theory, your crystal shouldn't burn, but some minerals like the selenite are heat sensitive and can easily get damaged. Most fakes aren't even made out of plastic anyways. In fact, some gemstones are almost always finished or stabilized with resin, which means you could accidentally be ruining a perfectly good gem. Some people say that real crystals will always be cold to the touch, but minerals have a huge variety of different textures and densities. They're not gonna feel the same and temperatures are relevant. This test is supposed to expose dyed crystals, but you might be putting water-sensitive crystals at risk by soaking them. And most dyes are only affected by strong solvents like acetone. This test is actually a great way to check the hardness of a mineral. But you can't just take a piece of glass to any gem. You have to individually look up the hardness of the mineral that you're trying to test, and then figure out which material will be appropriate for the scratch test. Otherwise, you run the risk of causing permanent damage to a gem that was never fake to begin with.